On the adventure of weight loss, the two sisters join the TLC show, and you know people love to see a journey towards progress and achievements, and so each and every moment of these sisters' lives is filmed. Funny and romantic, and some are just unbelievably crazy ones. And definitely, Tammy Slayton was the catalyst for those unpleasant and silly moments. So in today's video, we will look at some of the deranged moments in the show that made our jaws drop. So, let's roll! Online Hate Comments I wanted to address a few things that I've been seeing in the comments. Um... Amy and Tammy shared their weight loss journey on the internet, and it became a hit reality show, which attracted millions of followers and fans around the world. I'm getting a lot less hate, where Tammy's getting a lot more hate. I feel bad, but haters are gonna hate. The popularity on the internet of these two sisters makes people laugh sometimes, but oftentimes they become very unpleasant, and thus people on social media begin trolling them. Amy shared her experience and said that she was getting some hate comments, but they were not as much as she had been getting last year, but she still gets it till present day. I don't get as many hate comments as I did about a year ago, but I still get hate comments. On the other hand, Tammy thought that the trollers were definitely after her and said that these people were being harsh on her carelessness about diet and rather compared her progress with Amy. I mean, it doesn't make it okay for people to, oh, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Amy looks great. What kind of intentions these people might have, but it was definitely hurting Tammy's emotions. I don't know if these people have intentions on trying to help by hating. It had been observed throughout the show that she was very sentimental and emotional, and this sort of thing freaks her out easily. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm easy to upset. She wanted people to stop trolling her on the internet. It was not at all helpful. They know, they see that I'm putting weight on. I know too. I don't need people pointing it out to me. It had rather the opposite effect on Tammy's health, and when she was stressed, she overeats. It's not helping. I'm an emotional eater. She knew very well about her health, and pointing it out might not be helpful for her. In a few days, we're going to have the meet and greet, and there's always a chance of haters showing up. Going out of the house after six years. Amy and Tammy decided to go to a restaurant to meet their mother and let her know that they were going for weight loss surgery. Today, we're having lunch with our mom to tell her that we're having weight loss surgery. But what was weird about this outing was that Tammy had not been out of her house for almost like six years, and this is a huge step for her. I know this is a big deal for Tammy because she hasn't been out of the house in six years. She had been reluctant to go outside due to multiple reasons, besides the primarily because of her health complications. For six years, I've only left the house for medical reasons. She thought if she went out, she would end up having a heart attack. My biggest worry is that I might possibly like, have a heart attack. She felt very stressed. Besides her medical appointments, she was inside the house for an insane six years. Moving around more is a lot of stress on my heart. That is definitely unbelievable. While getting her out of the house, she had to sit on the floor of the car because she could not fit into the regular seat. In order to get her out of the house, we're going to have to sit her in the floor of the minivan because she can't fit into a regular seat. Everything was arranged quite well. It could be dangerous for her because it would not be possible to fasten the seatbelts. It can be dangerous having Tammy on the floor and all because we haven't figured out the seatbelt situation. This is better than nothing. She had been quite scared and mortified going in the car after a long time. You did really good, Tammy. I'm proud of you. Yeah, the hard part's over with. You just have to get in the van now. Okay. Eventually, she made the journey to the restaurant. I haven't eaten in a restaurant in six or seven years. And when she entered the restaurant, there were a lot of people sitting around tables began staring into her, which made her feel a little uncomfortable and uneasy. <laughs> The first thing that I noticed when I walked into the restaurant were people were starting to look at me. Anyway, they met their mom, and she had not been nice to them, let alone supportive. 
I know when we came in, Tammy was having a hard time, but it would have been nice for our mom to say, are you okay? She was nonchalant and not at all concerned about them. There was not a word of encouragement or support for her daughters. I don't think you make it. I think you'll chicken out. They were really upset when going back to their house. Uh, yeah, because it runs in your family. You've got a cousin that died with a massive heart attack at 33. Insane fight. I want to be Fine. babied. Did I baby? You're the baby. No, you're no, the you're The relationship between two sisters, Amy and Tammy, went through different phases of ups and downs in the show. You say you want to get off that walker. Okay, shut up. I'll do it when I'm ready. About to you mouth. Sometimes they were seen talking and making other people laugh around them and on the internet. I told you, I don't like lotion. Put socks on, stupid. I don't like socks. <laughs> My feet are constant. And other times, they became rocky. In season three of the show, there were more than usual fights between the Thousand Pound sisters. She treats me like I'm a dog. She yells at me constantly. Sometimes you just help her and all she wants to do is gripe at you. Amy was trying her best to take care of her sister. Sometimes it gets on my nerves when you, I just sit down and you ask me to do a bunch of things. Why don't you say, can you give me a soda in my phone? But sometimes she became rude and disrespectful, yelling at her for trivial matters and things. And it seemed that Tammy was ungrateful and taking her sister's sacrifice and help completely for granted. I'm just not your slave. I do not have to do I'm not trying to make you my slave. Well, obviously you are because no, you're not, I'm not trying. Just shut up. Her rude behavior made Amy upset, and she felt unappreciated for her care and help. Amy thought she had been treated like a slave and had been exploited all the time. While on the other side, Tammy opens up about her sister and complains that she does not care about her or have any sympathy for her. Amy's pushing me to get off my walker. I don't think she has any sympathy for me. She confessed that Amy had probably got the same problems, but she's better than Tammy and moves around relatively with ease. I am trying to work on myself and get better. And I don't know if she just don't believe me or just don't care. The fight between them became intense, and finally, Amy got up and left the house. Stupid. Yeah, you are, ain't you? No, you Just go! You just go! This was going to be a lot harder for Tammy, because she couldn't take care of herself on her own, and life was going to be a real battle for her now. They blame me for everything, and they don't think that anything they're doing is wrong. Amy had a husband and a kid to take care of. You don't care that other people are hurting. If it ain't for you or about you, you throw a little hissy fit. Before we go on to the last moment on our list, we'd love to hear your thoughts on today's video, as well as if you have any other favorite shows that you'd like to see on our channel. 12 Sodas a Day how much do you think you drink a day? <clears throat> 8 to 12 a day. 8 to 12 cans? Mm -hmm. The two sisters had bad habits of eating and drinking sodas, and it was not according to plan to lose weight, and they might have gotten more health issues and problems along the way. When inquiring about their drinking routine each day, both the sisters told the doctor that they did not drink water at all, but rather used 12 soda cans instead of water, which had never been recommended by a doctor. Do you drink water during no. the day? No. No water at all? Okay. All right. And then what are you drinking during the day? Sodies. Sodies. Sody pops. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, they were not serious about change and progress and continuously not following the diet plan. Our mom told us when we were younger, if we ate a sugar, you drink a Diet Coke afterwards and it'll cancel out the sugar. They might have been thinking of deceiving the doctor or other people around. Do you believe it to be true? Yeah. No. I okay, did when good. I was a kid. <laughs> Sir, okay. <laughs> But what they did was really deceive themselves. And if they continued to keep this habit, it was probably sooner than they thought that their health was going to deteriorate to the point of death. The doctor was surprised to hear about 12 sodas a day. How much do you think you drink a day? <clears throat> 8 to 12 a day. 8 to 12 cans? Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, they were told that diet sodas were canceling out the sugar. Okay. And it's regular soda? No, it's diet. It's diet. Okay. I don't know, but it seems they were very childish and showed deadly non-seriousness about their health. And look at the reaction of Amy when the doctor asked to limit the drinking of soda to one a day. We're just gonna maybe make a deal to wean it out. Does that sound fair? 
She put her hand around her ears and did not even bother to listen. So you can have one can a day. No, I can't hear you, I can't hear you, la 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 la. They were acting very immaturely. How could they do it to themselves is beyond understanding. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.